All right, he's gonna try to loop. I did not build it large enough uh, for a truck this size. Obviously, he's a good driver. They did all this by hand. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Well, I went back the next day or the day after and finished this project. So this is the uh, grand finale, the conclusion, I guess. And I got some updated pictures, like literally from today, August 23rd. They're actually out there camping right now. I got some cool pictures. They're achieving their dream. And I was glad to help make that happen for them. So let's finish it out. And don't forget, if you enjoy our content, hit the like button and consider subscribing. So let's get some fresh air outside and make some dreams come true. Thanks a lot. Right now, a person could drive up here, no problem. Needs just a little more cleanup. All right, it's getting a running start. It's, it's steep. You may not see it, but we're in hill country. Sitting right on my culvert there. That turned out pretty good. But I'm done for today. So I guess we'll have to leave it. Leave it right here. Getting closer though. I don't have a tripod, it's broke, but I'm gonna improvise. I've got my magnetic face, which I'm holding in my hand right now, and I always carry my knife. Improvise, adapt, overcome. I like it. I like it. All right, here's a midstream look on the, the campsite. The rock top ledge campsite, I believe, or something similar to that. So he had his spreader, so he left me a pile here. So I'm gonna try and get most all of this covered in rock. So they got a pretty good sized pad here away from mud and stuff if it's rainy or wet. So let's get this finished up.
All right, so Phil and I lasered out the actual campsite pad, which is kind of to your right of the screen here where the piles are sitting there. But I decided to uh, put the rock all the way out to the tree line the best that I can to give them a lot more room, a lot more clean space um, for storage of other things and uh, less weeds and less mud should they ever get rain out there. So I'm trying to make this this uh, stone go as far as I can so that's why I'm spreading it. It's gonna be a little thin but it's gonna work fantastic. I'm gonna show you proof here in a minute so that's kinda why I'm spreading it thin as far out as I can get it to make the site as big as possible. gonna need some hand raking I'm gonna let her know that so here's the after look and I'm gonna put some pictures up here right now so this was them just like two days after I completed this project so their van made it all the way up that steep road finally got to realize their dream of having this campsite deep in the woods so so far it's been a success it was a fun project and if you're down in southern Illinois and you need some work like this look us up on our website or our uh, Facebook page so let's finish this out thanks a lot all right here's the after look um, I did go back up top and, and I was able to scab some from a little bit deeper spot and uh, tweak up that camping site just a little but this is beautiful turned out beautiful I'm not sure what their cost was on the gravel um, but you know it's it's so cool to take a vision and make it happen like this um, I mean this thing you could barely walk across this so I got a 24 inch culvert pipe in here so, another fun day in the woods. Glad I could still do it one day at a time. So I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate it.